Thank you for viewing our video on how to cashier during an auction using the Gavel Buddy program. In this video, we will be covering the basics of the cashiering screen. To get started, you will first put in your username and password. Once you are successfully logged into Gavel Buddy, you will then go to Live Auction and Cashiering. Now that you are on the cashiering screen, you simply select the auction date and input the winning buyer number. Once you've selected your auction date and entered in the buyer number, you click on Submit to pull up that buyer's information. At the top of the screen, you will see the buyer info portion that will display the buyer's name, address, whether they're premium exempt or tax exempt, and also whether or not they are on your mailing list. The next section is the buyer notes. The buyer notes can be entered for any buyer and is strictly for informational purposes. You can add or modify these notes from the Add Edit Buyer screen. For more information on the buyer notes, please watch our video on buyer management. The section in red is the previous outstanding section of the cashiering screen. This section allows your cashier to see if this particular buyer has any previous outstanding balances for past auctions. By cl clicking the View button, it will instantly take you to that auction for that particular buyer. The next section is the on-site total section. Here your cashier will see a breakdown of your buyer's total by method of payment. It will show your cashier what the totals are if the buyer pays with cash, check or debit, or charge. Each payment method displays the items purchased total, fees total, if there are any, tax total, total without premium, and the payment premium due. This section also shows what the grand total, the total paid, and total amount due is. Having these three methods of payment available to your cashier will allow them to quickly and accurately tell your winning buyer exactly what their totals are. This screen will also allow you to accept multiple, multiple methods of payment and GabbleBuddy will accurately tell your cashier what the remaining balances are. The Payment Notes field is strictly an informative field that allows your cashier to enter notes on this particular payment. An example would be if your buyer is only able to pay for half the merchandise on the night of the auction, but will be in next week to pay the rest. Your cashier can make a note regarding that conversation. Below the payment notes section is where the cashier can select the method of payment, enter in a check number if needed, submit the payment, and print a receipt. Finally, the last section of the cashiering screen is the items one. This section provides the cashier an opportunity to confirm the items bought as well as make changes quickly. In the event there is a confirmed discrepancy on the items purchased, the cashier can make the adjustment to the items purchased directly, directly from the cashier's screen. All the totals would be updated immediately upon changing the item. Now that we have went over the basics of the cashiering screen, let us walk you through an example. So in this example, on September 18th, buyer number 99 had purchased some items. So they come to the cashier and they say, okay, I want to pay with cash and I want to pay with check. So if they want to put in $50 in cash, your cashier would simply select 50. Make sure that cash is selected from the drop down and hit submit. As you can see it tells you that it was updated and as you look down here it says the total paid in cash was $50. The amount left is $65 in check. So if your cashier wanted to put in the $65 in check they would simply put $65 in, select check, hit submit and as you can see it shows that the amount due is zero. Now in the event that your buyer decides that they do in fact want to pay with just cash only. Your cashier can click on remove payments and as you can see it takes those payments out and just simply put in 115 for cash, hit submit and show and it'll show here that they have no amount due. Um, and then they would just click on receipt, pulls up a page that 
automatically sends to your print, automatically pops up your print button. You would click OK to print, and it will print all of the information here. It has your auction house information here in the corner. It has their information up here. It lets them know that they've paid in full, how much money they paid. Down here it shows what their total payments are, cash, check, and charge, as well as the items purchased and the terms. So let's go ahead and close out of this and come back here to our cash sharing screen. And let's go over really quick how to change an item. Okay, so I'm going to remove the payment here. Let's pretend like we're starting over. I go over here and I need to change this from $100 to, let's say, $10. Okay, so I click on the item, it pulls up all the information associated with that item. I just changed the selling price to 10. I click on update lot and immediately all of my totals are adjusted for that item. So now I'll show you how quickly they can cash somebody out. They show up, they give them 1150 in cash, hit submit, hit receipt, receipt pops up, they hit print, sends it to the printer, done. And they would just hand the sheet over to uh, the winning buyer. Okay, another thing that I wanted to go over with you really quick before we finish this video up is the outstanding portion. So let's say they wanted to go back and um, pay for the previous auction. So in, in this case, it was August 12th, they owe $44. All your cashier has to do is click on view. It comes back and shows all the stuff that they, they bought, it shows their grand total. I put in $44 for cash, hit submit, it shows that they're paid in full, click on receipt, pops up my receipt, I hit OK, done, just hand them the receipt. All right, go back to our cash sharing screen, now our previous outstanding is zeroed out and this buyer is caught up on their payments. Okay, uh, one other thing too I wanted to go over with you just briefly. Let's remove the payment here again. Let's say they hand them a $50 bill. It'll actually give them the change due as well. So if I put in $50 bill for cash, I hit submit. It tells me right here the change due is $6. When I click on receipt, it also tells me the change due is $6 here. But it also still indicates that they've paid in full and that they had given you a $50 bill. So with that, I believe we've covered all of the major functionality with the cashiering screen using the Gavel Buddy Auction Program. We want to thank you for watching our video. For more information, visit GavelBuddy.com and contact us from there. We would enjoy having the opportunity to talk with you about your auctions and see if we can provide an affordable, simple solution for your business. Thank you.